faster than I can. Hi guys! Do remember to like and subscribe so I can get you what you need. I'm about to set up and see where this energy is at today. Which I am anticipating. I wasn't sure if I was supposed to translate today, but something keeps saying, let's go. We need to translate today. And I said that day because I decided today to pamper my fingers. Um, I had got me some um, fabric softener, the liquid kind, and I put some on my fingers. And then I put this on, on the little latex gloves. And then I covered it up with my wonderful Let's Recycle gloves. So I was like, I don't know if I even want to, you know. But it's like... We can get the work done too. You can cater in, still get the job done, hunty. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, I'm going to start with Tara, which is. Hello, hum. I felt the need to knock on something. Kept saying, knock on me. And it's funny because something that I read too, after I was already feeling that energy, was a knocking aspect. Like knocking on the door. Then I read something, um, an introduction to Jesus, and they were saying something about any man that knocks on the door and enter, he responds, something of that aspect, or something of that nature. And I was like, that's so intriguing. The knocking part caught my attention. That's why I can't even remember what the rest said, because it was like, that's just what I was thinking. It's that knocking aspect. It's the seek and you shall receive. It's that one. It's like, even though already there, you get better guidance when you want it. It's that aspect. So if you knock on somebody's door, you go to somebody's house and you knock on their door, you want their attention. You want them to respond back to that sound that they heard, you know, the energy effect. Um, other than, I don't know, you just pull up in front of their house but you know you don't knock on the door or beep so they don't even know you're there even though you're right freaking there it's that type of aspect well let's see what we got uh, that's a whole lot we're gonna grab from top and bottom in the middle oh bound oh my jesus that's intriguing. Divine communication. Oh, wow. <laughs> Super wow, I must say. I'm going to leave these to the side too, just because they all came out in the stack. I think it's going to be handy. I don't want to put it back. Ace of Wands. The universe is giving you opportunity. Ah, tower moment. Oh, Jesus. Something's coming to an end. <sighs> uh, ending. That's a quick ending too. Let me put that at the top of the divine communication. That's divine communication. Uh, something's surely ending quickly. You feel left out. Let me set these up really quick. How intriguing. This is a beautiful line that came out. I spoke of that before when I'm doing my translations as into um so why does my screen look like that a little bit? It's because I got the blinds open. I felt the need to have the blinds open today. Um, then it gave it like a little glossy, glossy look like a little overpowering. But it's okay. I wasn't sure if I should put the extra light on or if I should just use the light from outside. But I got both effects going on. I kind of want to cut this light off. The inside light. I'm going to that other light on. I think I'm going to in a minute. I'm sure I set these up just because I said that. And I'm looking at the background. I think it's something that needs to be seen. <sighs> a nice Bach. Yeah, I like that. That's good. <laughs> Pardon me, but that aspect needed to be seen. It's the tree, it's a tree. 
Okay, um... That's so intriguing. <sighs> All right, dear. You're having divine communication with somebody. I'm not sure if this, I'm pulling another card out for this one. As in two, you're having divine communication, which means <sighs> you either working with your shadow side. I speak of this a lot. This is the intriguing part. That's why I said it's amazing because the first card that came out was the devil energy. You're bound to somebody. And this is light and the dark energy. And it feels like a shadow work. Like you are communicating with the eternal realm. But it's feeling like it could be shadow work. You're communicating with shadows. But it could be in a physical form. But you may not be actually talking to that physical form. Even though you believe you're talking to the physical form. You're talking to their shadow. And in some aspect in that, there's an ending coming. And it's coming quickly in that. Either somebody's telling you an ending coming or you're telling them. Because there's somebody feel left out. And I'm feeling like an ending of being left out is that quick of a ending that's coming. I say tower energy because it says tower, but it's like um, I hope nobody get offended by it. But our twin towers that fell, how they just crumbled, they just fell down quickly. Believe it's a quick effect like that. And actually, I want to say it's the same aspect. The devil card came out. You're bound to somebody, and this is divine communication. The towers, the ten towers, tall towers. <laughs> The, ten, the Twin Towers, to me, symbolizes a balance. It's a marriage. It's something that understands why you're able to have divine communication in this aspect. But, you know, we have to rebuild in a different form because it, it, somebody messed up. For me, always, since all my energy always be marriage energy, I always say somebody left out their marriage. You know, it's no longer a balance. You have to rebuild in a different form. And that's probably exactly that because somebody feel left out. That's exactly that doggone energy. You have to rebuild in a different form. Because something that was sacred, which brings a balance to allow you to have. I got to get to all these other cards. I'm stuck on three cards at the moment. These energies is intriguing. Um, these are the towers which is people, you know, the physical form, but you're communicating with a shadow, which is the eternal aspect which guides you. And don't get afraid, because this is a devil card. It's in the dark, you know. The lover card also came out, which is it's the same aspect. People get more excited when they see, you know, the halo, but it's the same aspect, which is intriguing, because it came out double, um... What was I saying? Oh, yeah. The towers, pardon me. Those are the towers, a.k.a. people, a.k.a. shadows. This is the shadow, pardon me. These are people, a.k.a. the towers. Somebody stepped outside. Crumbled. That's your tower right there. Fallen. It's no longer a balance the way it's supposed to be. You have to rebuild in a different form. And you're having divine communication. Because somebody felt left out. <sighs> the universe is giving you opportunity to manifest a new foundation, which is awesome. Because I personally, I've been driving myself a little crazy. I feel like I'm like y'all know a little bit about me. Because it's something that's really been making me just be like, how intriguing. Myself personally... I've been going crazy. I've been seeking to start a new foundation. I keep feeling like I have to start over. Um, because my foundation that I have started, it wasn't started in this aspect technically the way it was supposed to be. This is the lover card as to, you know, you come together. First come love, then come marriage, then come the baby. You know, I, I, I skipped all those little steps and went straight to the baby. 
uh, which was the foundation that I have, but it's not right, so I have to start over again. Um, and I've been seeking that because that's the only way that I can have a foundation. I, I'm meant to be in that form of a way. Um, a lot of people don't understand that, even myself a little bit. Because like, you got so much going on and you just worried about having a baby. For me, the way my foundation goes, yeah, that, that, that's the way I climb up the ladder because I grow with my family. <laughs> so it, it's very intriguing that I've been seeking to have another baby so I can, you know, excel the way I'm supposed to be. And that's funny because this energy came out. And so the universe is giving you a chance to manifest and the foundation is right here. You can start over. And the lover card came out. So that makes me personally excited. And it's right in the middle, honestly. This is feeling like my chest piece a little bit. This is love based. You, you get to start over when it comes to that eternal aspect of guidance. Even with my chat, I don't know if you can see it because I cut the light down, but I have two queen bees on each side. And intriguingly, this to me symbolizes a lot, honestly. But as I was saying, you know, if a bee bites you, you do know the bee died, right? Okay. Um, it is one of those energies also, but... What about say? To me, it's, it's going with this tower energy also eyes into you had a marriage. Somebody stepped out of it, but you have to rebuild. And you have to rebuild adding that person. It is just what it is. It's like you, it had to be the reason why you did it. I'm not feeling like they're growing up. <laughs> but it's that energy you have to build in that form of a way. And then. What the, I need my phone to be quiet for a second. I don't feel like getting up and going to get it. But I guess that's confirmation also, too. You know, I see that halo, honey. It's, it's all making. What's that Celine Dion song? Uh, it's all coming back. Whatever it is. It's something like that. But, um, the bound energy is going with the Queen of Swords. The justice is a justice aspect. And the, and the Queen of Pentacles. So you meant to manifest with, you manifested that. That's exactly what I just sat there and said, too. And the Queen of Wands is on the other side. How amazing. That's amazing. That's what the universe gave you. You had, you had no choice but to step outside of it. Which, that sounds intriguing. A lot of people will question... If... They were meant to step outside of something they thought was so sacred. Yeah. Apparently, it's, it's too much. I spoke of that recently, too. Too much wrongdoing. People get in that connection for the wrong reason. But this this is not that aspect. It's just meant to, ex to expand. This is an expansion. But also, they do go with too much wrongdoing. Like... Ay, ay, ay. Boy, oh boy. This is a very intriguing energy, but you manifested that. That's amazing. It's like it's your shadow, it's yourself. You manifested yourself. You're, you're stuck to them. Whereas. That's how I just explained it. I think I started off speaking in that form of a way as into you are communicating with somebody, but it's not 
actually the physical form is their shadows shadows are speaking like right now let me see if i got any shadow work going on i don't see no shadow but out over here if i move my hand on the wall i can see a shadow but i don't see my shadow next to me if i look next to me so i mean my shadow is somewhere else right now <laughs> um shadows ain't stuck they can move freely people forget that you may feel stuck but energy energy be all over the place and this is that form of a way as into I think that's why I said I didn't want to offend anybody because you may be with somebody in the marriage, in a union. I say union is multiple people. Um, and they're not the one that you're communicating with. You're communicating with a shadow. Energy. Not the actual physical form. That's kind of sounding crazy now, but it is what it is. That's just what it is. Over here, you manifested a lot. And you're looking at what you manifested, but you're not happy. It's right there. It don't seem like that much because you're not even seeing them. You're not with them physically. You're not with this person physically. Even though where you're at, you seem like you have a lot, but you're not happy. You manifested a lot with this person. That's why I said this energy is meant to expand. That supposed to come right over there. It's the missing piece. Which is the queen of wands. The queen of the manifestation, which is justice. It brings out balance. And that's what the universe gave you, the queen of freaking, that's amazing, the universe gave this to you. This is the new start. I need some more cards. Jesus Christ, what's over here? Uh, things are coming together. Why don't y'all come together? It's a balance. That divine communication that y'all having right freaking now. Like, that, that's the way that y'all communicate. And it, people don't think they can communicate with a chirper, which this energy been coming out a lot. There's a lot of this happening, which is not surprising. We got into a whole pandemic because of it, if you ask me. Because um, it's air aspect. It's the eternal aspect. So it's not surprising that, you know, people don't understand it or think they can communicate with a chirper. But to me, a chirper always symbolizes an angel. And that's how y'all communicating. But once y'all actually come together, there's your manifestations all right there. It, it'll make more sense. You got the 10 on it. It's a balance. Right now it's not balanced. But things are coming. Oh, the 10. Got, you got the 10 on? Got the 10 too. Oh, how awesome is that? That's so awesome. I'll tell you no lie. Ha <laughs> ha. Where you're at right now is a nine. It's not freaking balanced. Coming together is balanced. Things coming together, it's a ten on it. It's balanced. It's not balanced right now. Right now it's confusion because I even work in this aspect and I, it causes a lot of confusion. People normally say you're crazy, delusional, hallucinating. Uh, yeah, but you know the truth. But the people around you, yeah. Even the faith ones, those ones make it really just like, oh my Jesus, okay, no. Because I have to say, even my, I love I can speak of my spiritual people so much, but we all have moments where we forget, you know, or just be needing a refresher. But spiritual people and people who believe in a religion, they totally forget sometimes about there's always something on the other freaking side. Like, and I have to say them because we have something called a mental illness and it get looked at as something very, very bad. But it is the air aspect. 
which we inhale, which is the other side, which gets right in here, your crown chakra, that one, ultimate download, which is connected with your all-seeing eye, which go down to the throat chakra, which follows up to the heart chakra. What's the other one? I feel like I'm going down all this. <laughs> Which is the orange one? I can't think what that one is called, which is intriguing. But that's creativity, which to me, that's important. Even what, what I'm doing, that's part of that aspect. The way to be able to translate what you're feeling, what they're trying to let you know. Keeping the wheels flowing. I just feel like, see, that's what I mean. Like, oh, there's so many different ways to communicate, and I just felt. I was thinking, but I was glancing out the side of my eye at my hands, and the motion is keeping things moving forward. But that's the best way I can explain at this moment what they need to be said the shadow side, the eternal aspect. But I'm moving over to the traveler inside now, the traveler deck. Hello, God. <laughs> that's fun. Of it's like two cards in here. It is two cards in here. Window of my heart. Oh, that's funny. That's the shadow. That's you bound to somebody, aka your lover. It's the window of your heart. That's amazing. Um. But I, I wanted to finish going down the list because I feel like all this was important. But it's the orange chakra, which brings out creativity. Um, which that's something, I, I feel like I want to make another video for this because that's important. I'm even realizing right now, I've been doing a lot of studying on myself lately because I'm making a few changes. Um, definitely with me wanting to start a new foundation, um, certain things I got to do and need to learn. And myself personally, I've been on birth control for a long time, for 10 years, so I haven't been able to flow naturally. Um, but noticing changes and things that I do, now that I'm back, um, releasing, which I've been calling it a red box, because it's just, just what it feels like to me. It's just a red area situation. <laughs> So I, I probably explain it more in that form of a way because it kind of feel weird. The flow, what flow? What is the flow, yo? P and O. It's a red box. <laughs> Anywho, moving forward, I've been actually noticing certain times. Like today was actually a day that I really noticed that I just back start picking up the red box situation. Um. Which is driving me a little crazy because it hasn't been frequent. It's, it's kind of like, it's intriguing. It ain't like what it used to been, but when you've been clogged yourself, when you have clogged yourself for so long, of course things ain't going to be the same aspect. But um, I'm noticing certain things that I like to eat and emotions that I start feeling. It will help you understand what type of child you will have by the things you start intaking. Or, you know, um, mainly that. And it's something else I want to say. I just kind of freaking forgot. How intriguing. I'm going to sleep it out. I'm going to make another video because that's something I've been actually been noticing that is really freaking true. Like, I downloaded an app that helped me, um, figure all that out when I would be able to conceive and things, but I think I already have figured that out by the way that I eat or just emotions that I start to feel. I feel like I'm traveling a little bit, but since the energy actually came out and I feel it's okay to explain and that's something I'm actually going through, so I think it's okay. <laughs> I think it's okay. But I think that's just intriguing to me, honestly. Like how I'm able to recognize, like, huh, I feel like I'm just going and going. I'm excited by it, honestly. I really am. Um, before I started my menstrual this time, so I think I'm on day three now. When I first, before I first started it, 
Oh, when was the day? The day is Saturday. I started on Thursday. Was it Thursday? So it was day three. And see, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. No, Thursday was the day I felt it. Pardon me. I felt so intriguing. I was even crying on the dog on bus. It was just an intriguing day. Like, I hardly even play any music. Usually, when I'm out and about, I have my music on. I didn't hardly have any music on. And I got, I was so emotional. Like, it was intriguing, you know. And I really didn't even care that I was freaking crying on the bus. Like, it, it, it was intriguing. And then, the next day, I started freaking bleeding. <laughs> like, it, it just was intriguing to me. I, certain things you wouldn't recognize. You have to pay attention. And for me, that's something I realized. I might just start getting emotional before I start freaking PMSing, you know. Normally, it would have been, oh, I'm, I'm craving chocolate or, I don't know. Something, that's what it normally would be for me. I, I'm, I'm craving chocolate, so I, I'm about to start bleeding for sure. No, this time I was emotional. It was intriguing. And I kept getting headaches, too. That's something that's paying attention to, headaches. Headaches have been extreme for me. Um, and I'm not sure because I've been out and about around certain energies is that you know just because they have slowed down the pandemic do not mean that the situation still ain't there um for me i feel like it has got intensified you know for me it's like <laughs> i hate to get a chuckle because it's so serious but it's like when you're fighting to get something that you don't even freaking understand Eventually, you drop your swords, and then they attack you, if, if that makes sense. It, it feel like that type of situation, because it's getting intensified. Now, I keep saying shadows are communicating. They're getting, they're doing the job, and it's kind of funny, because yesterday, I watched uh, some comedy stuff, and I watched a person I normally don't watch. I just randomly watched it, but for me, half the stuff he said wasn't funny. It was more knowledgeable than funny. I was watching Cat Williams, and he was talking about, um, Cat Williams. What the heck? I gotta look at my phone, because I feel like my phone will try to overpower me at the moment. I guess we just need more confirmation because honestly, I noticed his outfit, like certain things catching my attention about people and it was stars on his outfit, which that caught my attention because it's just like, oh Jesus. It, it was a standout energy and also fallen angel aspect. It, it was intriguing and we got the tower, which is something falling quickly. <sighs> um... But the top part of his outfit reminded me of my chest piece, which I talk about today. And his pants was like, had a bunch of stars in it, which was symbolizing fallen stars. And it was a few of them on his dog on pants. But his top part, it was only, it was just like my chest piece. He had a chain on, which was symbolizing the heart. Um, it was like a circle aspect. And then it was two stars on each side of his outfit. But what the heck was he talking about? That caught my attention. I can't even freaking remember right now. That's so intriguing. Let's talk about the pandemic. I can't even remember right now. But it's something he was talking about. And it was just so intriguing that I was even watching him. And then even just comedy in general. But it's just the whole fact of... It's just like what I just said, because I can't remember what I was about to say, but it's the whole fact of they lifted something, and now it's attacking more. It, you can't fight against it. Some people would call it the new normal, but it's like you don't even know what the new normal is. The new normal is about to... How can I explain that? It's so, it's so many levels to it. That's why they got, I guess, so many different strands of it. 
Because it's, it's levels to it. I'm going to use my chest piece again as an example. To me, it symbolizes joining something. Two queens, you have more than one partner. It also symbolizes a gay aspect as into, as I said, if a bee bites you, you're stuck. Okay? You, the bee die and you are officially on that side. You, you, you can't go back. Um, it's kind of like that Carly B song. If it's up, then it's stuck. It's stuck. I'm not saying all people are that way. There's some people who, you know, have a fine balance where they can go to either side, you know. Um, sometimes they want to play in a female. Sometimes they want to play in a guy. I guess it's kind of hard to say it in that form of a way. Hmm. I'm going to say they have a balance, not where they just stuck. And it's, it's the intriguing part when it's like they don't understand what's happening. They've not always been that way. Just randomly they start doing it. You're one of those ones to watch. <laughs> it's not you. Eventually you're going to stop. It's not you. It's the shadow aspect at hand. It's not you. And that goes with the energy I just spoke into as you physically see somebody, but you're not communicating. That's not who you're communicating with. Shit, for our said shit. Did I say shit? Oh, Jesus, pardon me. But I guess metaphorically it makes sense because you're playing in a, a, a shit zone. Um... um the shadow may have been a physical, a female energy. Or it could have been a past energy that's upset and making you do some foolish stuff. That's what it's levels to it. It's just it's something you just have to watch. You have to learn yourself. You asked until I've been learning myself by things I do. You just have to pay attention. That's, that's the only way I can explain it. Um... Because uh, with me just saying, I'm thinking about things that I said before. It's the past. The past is doing things. Ugh, man. Um, so I'm thinking about just the whole aspect, how I set things up before I started this translation. I, so I felt the need to open the blinds because I needed to see something behind me. And it's a tree. For me, it's, just, it's going with the past. On what I'm saying at the moment. Something's coming back. It's like that unfinished business. But I have spoken of that in my recent translations. It hasn't to. I hope if you were with somebody. Y'all have them type of open conversations. A lot of people in marriages. I want to say friendships. But your friend should be. You know. You ride or die. But I'm learning no. It normally do not go that way in marriage it normally goes we look good together people like the way we look on the outside together or you know effectuation or lust plays a big part in those aspects or just a financial aspect which may go with the whole first thing I said other than love the actual connection that you have a uh, eternal aspect where it is never broken you can't break it that's why you become one and that one is the eternal aspect a lot of people do not understand that part and that's where it caused a lot of confusion um but if you had this type of i feel the need to say this i feel the energy attitude is this one is not to scare you. This is trying to guide you. You may be doing something wrong. And they're telling you to stop. But you don't even think nothing is there to listen. That's so freaking intriguing. This energy is intriguing today. It's, it's good. It's just, it's a lot. I feel like everybody won't talk today. Honestly. 
I did pull all my decks out. I didn't pull the dice out. I didn't pull the numbers out. But I, I use the numbers on the cards. Everybody's out there. Everybody want to talk. <clears throat> but it's okay. We got time. I'm sure everybody need what they need. But things are going to come together. It's going to be an ending. Because somebody feel left out. And it's going to the divine communication aspect. That's the only thing I can say in that. And it's based off the lover. Somebody you have a, a connection with. A, a bound connection with. But I keep feeling that you're not. This is not. You're not physically seeing them. Or this could be separate energy. You take it how it resonates. Um, do not try to make something fit. That this does not fit. Okay. Oh, that's that energy too. You're doing something, but you have to, you're trying to make something fit that does not fit. I just said that, and I'm, I'm saying it again, it's that energy. <sighs> boy, oh boy. I'm going to pull another card out for these, these queens. Your spouse is telling you this. You're not listening. Your spouse is just as your spouse is the one that helps you. Helps you manifest and have you stand out. And it's awesome because you the one that manifests. You got the cat and the sunflower. This is a Leo base, but it got the cat, so it under it has a balance. Your spouse has a balance. It's probably why Queen the Source Queen of Justice. I want a card for the Queen of Pentacles. It's the one that has you, makes you stand out. But it's where you're having divine communication. Just you're not physically seeing each other. That's so awesome. What is this Queen of Pentacles? What do you have to say? This feels like a, a need to say something that's not getting said or recognized. Enough. Kind of intriguing. It kind of remind me of my son a little bit. My son is a mixture, which I spoke of a lot, but you know, then the sun card came out again. So standing out, it makes you stand out. Huh, you have a balance with somebody, but you're giving somewhere. Oh, that's your freaking. <sighs> Jesus. That's all back to freaking back. Something want to get said, but somehow it keeps getting missed. <sighs> your spouse. That makes you stand out. It should be obvious. This is coming off like a child. This is child energy. This is going with the energy that I was explaining with myself as, as to how I have a child, but the foundation has gotten messed up, so I have to start over again. I have to have another child. Um, it's that same energy also. But you have a balance with somebody, which is your queen of pentacles, but you're giving somewhere else. You're, you're not supporting your, your spouse. You're giving to somebody else. And you're not even looking at your spouse. That's what I said. You don't... The devil card is turned too. That's so intriguing. The devil card is turned on. Um... They're actually face to face. Devil card is turned you face to face with the balance. This has caught my attention to look up at that. But yeah, yeah. That's so intriguing. That's also going with stop energy. You're ruining your freaking foundation. That's amazing how that what's these cards? These better not be pinnacles too. And these are pinnacles. I said they be like, but they are. 
You can't stop the will of fortune, hon. Jesus. Not a pinnacle, it's your spouse headed towards you. They're coming. And that's awesome because the devil energy which you're bound to was on the face to face. They're they're gonna head towards you. Then you have the foundation. You know you don't want this foundation. And that's intriguing because it's a tree behind me and this person that's being offered this foundation, they don't want it. It's the energy I have to been there, done that. I speak of this a lot also as into people like to ask questions as into what's your zodiac? And then as soon as you tell them, they be like, oh, no. Nah. Because they dealt with those type of people already other than taking a piece of a breadcrumb and learning. Everybody, you know, didn't grow up the same, you know. You can do better in the next aspect if that makes sense. But this is, uh, you don't want it. Because you, you've been there, done that aspect. But it's not the same. You just gotta look at those other cups. <clears throat> And see what you can take that you didn't like and do better in the other aspect, but if that makes sense. I wonder the carve it is for this um, foundation. It's, it's at the cross where you got a four on it. This is where you're stuck. You cannot get away from the will of fortune that car came out you can't escape you can't escape it you just can't Dude, you're going to take this dog on foundation it's what you want it came out in the middle the page of uh, cups this is your foundation you're going to be able to manifest, and they got the lovers on it. Pull another card out. Pull another, I need to pull another card out for this foundation. Just because I'm in that aspect. <laughs> oh, you're going to take, you're running with it. You're running with it. That's why you're the queen of swords. Cause these are supposed to be obstacles. You're running with it. Once you learn, it's not the same. You, you could do better. You're, you're going to take it. It's going to be obvious, too. Got a seven on it, and the seven came out. All the hangman's up top of the deck. You got to change your perspective, which is just what I just said. You got to realize it's not the same. That's just like... I'll give an example about the horoscopes, but, you know, even the name, because I got a common name. My birth name is Brittany, and there's so many Brittany's names. Might have had just dated the Brittany. It's like, oh, no. Mm-mm. I'm just like, what? I'm a total different freaking person. But once they, like, realize that, I'd be around you, hang out with you, I don't know. Some of that aspect they will see. It's not the same. Same name, but total different energies. Maybe you might be one of those ones who way back here with these other cups of a lesson. I don't know, but I just felt the need to get an example because that's 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 a problem too. I'm using myself. Cause I just did this yesterday. This energy, as into I went back and I was just I was looking for my cousin actually because I was thinking about myself when I first came to Columbus, who I came to Columbus with, which was my cousin. Cause I. Ain't been keeping up with her, but I realized she, she was changing her lifestyle. She had a baby and stuff, which is something she always wanted. And she started losing a good amount of weight. Like, she started looking good, and I was like, go ahead, girl. You know, it's something that she was always wanting, and then she actually got it. Um, so I thought that was so freaking cool. And I went to go look for her, but I couldn't find it. She must have changed her name. Um, actually, no. Let's get something. I was looking at a picture of myself, and I looked it like her. 
I have a situation with myself that I start reflecting people. Like, I, I begin to look like them. Like, it, it's intriguing. I, I can't really explain it other than saying that, like, I, I have those tendencies of doing that. If I'm around you, I'm probably going to start looking like you. <laughs> it, it's just, I can't control that aspect. It, I just reflect it in that form of a way. It's like water. Can I use that example? Uh, maybe I can use it. I feel that I said it, so I'm going to leave it that way. But you look at water, you see your reflection. But do your reflection ever come out that water when you move away from it? Water keeps going. It, it seems like that form, so I, I do it. And that's what led me to go look for her. Is I was looking like her, and I was like, wow. I look just like her. Like me, I don't have too many childhood pictures. And I found one of those, but... Skipping back into what I'm talking about, I wanted to find some people that I used to date. And I'm just like, oh my god, why do they all freaking look alike? They even look like my freaking ex. They all got the same damn hairstyle and everything. For the most part, you know, they all got the little long facial chin. They all light skin. They either got the side cut fades and the hair up top. And it just is like, what the food are these? Why do I attract all the same guys? It, it's intriguing. It don't seem like it because some of them, most of them are athletes. They play some type of a sport. But that makes sense for me because I am into that. You wouldn't notice it now because I haven't been in that. My side hurt. That's intriguing. Maybe because I'm slinched over. I don't know. My side hurting a lot. Like my rib or something. I don't know. Um, but it just caught my attention. I was like, what the world? I had to put my phone down for a little bit. Like, that's intriguing to me. Because for myself personally, even that style, that was the first style. Like, having the sides cut. Right now, I got, I'm letting my hair grow out, you know. But, um. I'm letting my hair grow out, but for myself, when I actually wear my own natural hair, um. I like to have my sides cut in my top part long. Um, the back, you know, cut low too, but the sides are short and it's like his hair in this part. That was my favorite style for my freaking self to have. And we're going back and seeing that my exes have the same doggone style. It just is intriguing. They didn't have it then, but now they do. And it just was like, that's amazing to me. It, it was a little scary, honestly. Um, it was a little scary. Just, they all look alike and they all had that damn hairstyle. Like, whoa. What the world is going on? Um, and that's that same energy. So you may have been with these aspects. So you're like, mm-mm. The guy just sat there and said, most of them are all light-skinned. A lot of my exes are light-skinned. People I've dated or just had intercourse with, they all light-skinned. <laughs> and they all had the same hairstyle now. It's intriguing. Um, that's that scene that I was like, I can't even see it. I, the way I explain it makes like I've been with a lot of people. I really have not been with that many people, intuitively. I'm not that type. Of, I'm not that type of person. People expect me to be. It's just you can't make a person stay with you. Guys don't understand that. It's like. It's okay for them to get out and learn their self. As soon as a female do it, you know, we get called all types of names. But guys expect a lot from us, you know. And if we don't give them those things, they move on quickly. But if we give it to them too quickly, they do the same doggone thing. Then we got to start over, you know. The stuff be intriguing. <laughs> but we get called, you know, all types of unpleasant things when we're trying to put ourselves out there or we're trying to learn, you know. We get a bad rep for it. So that's, that's what that come off as to, you know. I went back and looked at all my exes. Like, how many you got, yo? Not that many, but enough to say I got some, you know. <laughs> but most of it is from my teenage years, honestly. And, um, my adult years, I've been stuck with one person and, st and still with that person, but we're not even together. It's intriguing. Very, very intriguing. But, um, that's the energy, too. 
when it comes to that. But you're going, you're going to take this new foundation. It's not the same. And I'm not sure if it's in the form as to how to explain, as to a look aspect, a name. It could be, even be a job, a career aspect. It seemed the same, but it's not. But you're going to take it eventually. But the lover card came out, so it's definitely a spouse. But I feel a lot of energy, so I do feel the need to say it in that form of a way. Oh, your spouse is headed to you. Then a dog, energetically. Because you're the queen of swords, and they're coming off as the knight of swords. They're coming in the dark. They're coming in from energetically shadow form. I might be headed to you because I don't see my shadow. I'm, I'm with you right now. <laughs> I'm laughing, but seriously. They could be with you right now. You could be with them. Y'all could just be together right now. They're headed towards you. But it's energetically. It's, it's not physically. So that's nice, honestly. Seeking, you're seeking. You're seeking. You're seeking your foundation. That's so awesome. That's just what I said. Even with myself, I'm, I'm seeking a foundation, a family, a structure. Oh, well, my success. I'm seeking it, but I have to start over because it's my family. You're headed somewhere. What is this? It's your spouse, they're headed towards you. They're bringing something to you. I gotta tingle on my eye part of me. I gotta tingle my eye really quick. Well, I'm not wearing my contacts right now. I'm giving my eyes a little chance. I do like my natural eyes. I do like to have my contacts in. Uh, they normally are this color. For me, it symbolizes uh, water or the sky. Um, which is a natural aspect, but I just feel the need to give my eyes a minute. Um, definitely me being outside a good amount, you know, they are contact lens, so they do get a little dirty and stuff, so you gotta let them soak and cleanse. And I do cleanse my natural eyes too. You should clean your eyes with some type of a solution, a cleanser. That That's really important. Um, not just the contact aspect, but naturally Clean your eyes with something, just like how yeah, you clean your body, get you some type of eye drops, um, and clean your eyes. That's important also. I, I realized that with myself. I ain't always been one to do it, but, you know, you live and you learn, yo. Um, allergies. My eyes be always watering. Or I'm out here walking, because I'm a walker at the moment. Hopefully, eventually, I got wheels. But, still, moving forward. <laughs> And there'd be so much dust out there, you know. I have to clean my dog on eyes. And it has helped, you know, having allergies. And my eyes just be leaking. Like, you would swear I'm walking down the street just crying my eyes out. And it's like, no, yo, I got allergies. <laughs> Which, honestly, it's funny. I can laugh because even with me saying that and my eyes watering, that could be the eternal side letting you know something that's making you sad. That's the intriguing part. You might not catch it until later. That, that, that's, that's the intriguing part. So I think I might have just gave you a band-aid uh, as into the eternal side. Even myself, maybe, honestly. Because uh, I'm a natural energy picker-upper. Um, <laughs> quicker picker-upper. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, that's why I, I say it a lot. It's not something that I try to hide. I don't just be out here just purposely swiping energy. I, I really don't. Um, but I do tell a person, you know, I do spiritual work. Um, and I'm normally by myself because I know I pick up a lot of energy. I, I don't communicate with people too much because... It's like knocking on somebody's door. People normally ask me, not normally, I really don't talk to people, honestly. 
I sound like an intriguing person. Like, oh my God, what's wrong with you? But I'm just going to keep talking about what I'm talking about. As in two. They ask me how I'm doing, but I don't ask them how they're doing. Because I do not, I may not want to know. Everybody normally ain't doing good. Or they're not always in the most mentalist good spot. You know, and I do not want to absorb all that. I might already feel it and know it, but as soon as you ask it, you might get that download and it. I'm out sleep for the next week. Because they got a lot of nonsense going on, whether they know it or not. And that is, it's drainful. It's drainful. Trust me, it's drainful. And a lot of people got trauma. It's, it's a lot. So I normally do not ask unless I... I know mentally I'm there and I really do want to know or it's a need that I, I I have to know to be able to help you other than that, I'm not asking I don't ask people probably say you're rude that's not rude I'm not taking on more than I know I'm ready for okay even though I already know <laughs> if that makes sense. if that makes sense I hope it makes sense um where was I at I was in the traveling deck I already did that Window of my heart. Hello, God. I think I'm going to go back to the traveling deck really quick. I'm already in 56 minutes. I think I'm going to wrap it up here in a minute. I didn't even get to the magic deck yet. What's the rush, huh? What is the rush? Window of my heart. That is so freaking amazing. You are special. Window of my heart, you are special. My spouse really loves you. Or the, eternal, the eternal realm really loves you. I keep feeling the need to, I have to say it in that form of way, both of those aspects. The eternal realm really loves you, and your spouse really loves you. I don't know if that's one of the same, or just... That's so nice. Eyes going again. What the food are these, yo? I'm gonna put some more moisture on my eyes in a minute. I cleaned my face really good today. You can't really see it, but my face is really on good good mode. I've been out in the sun frying, but I've been having to get out there and get things done. But I'm oh, my eyes going again. Okay, I think I'm gonna moisturize my face really quick. It's my eye or something going on in my eye. I'm not sure. That, that's probably important too, honestly. But, um, then the chirpers are gone. I feel like I'm getting distracted. I was about to say, everybody want to talk to die. Everybody want to talk to die. Okay, guys. Mr. All Seeing, you're safe in the light. That's nice. I won't pull the card out for that. I feel like that's your spouse that's making you stand out. This is the eternal aspect. I normally say the eternal aspect, like a person like me, communicate with the eternal side. People normally say you're crazy. But this is saying you're safe in it. You're safe. You don't have to think that you're crazy. And it also told you you're special. You're a window of my heart. And hello, God. That's so freaking nice, but I'm pulling the card out for this. I feel the need to. From the tarot to the traveler the deck. These are so shadows communicating. It's quite romantic, honestly. That's a lot of cards flipped up. That's like the whole dang on deck, yo. A lot of things are about to be repeating back. I'm going to pull to the top of that. The Wheel of Fortune came out. And it's Yay! <laughs> I said a lot of things are about to repeat it. It's gonna be an exchange. You get the exchange. This is how you get a baby. You know how they speak of it in adult form to little baby kids, which we gotta stop doing that. Okay, you create crazy. I wanna be a curious George now, so I'm gonna start doing some weird stuff. Um, the birds and the bees. You know. The birds and the bees, okay. Okay. 
uh, how about you have your child go out there and go try to experiment with a bird? Or you have your child go out there and try to experiment with a bee, okay? You're going to look at them like they're crazy, but this is the story you told them. That's why it's best to be honest with them. Okay. Okay. Moving forward on good side. <laughs> I know this is two images of guys. Please do not get stuck on that. It's the foundation aspect as in two. These two come together. What is that back there? It's a yellow and red. It's the house aspect. But for me, I'm excited about it. Cause this is what has to happen. This is already what happened to me. I have to do it again. But you an exchange of energies to create something. All energies don't mix together. So it's not going to freaking happen. Um, how can I explain it? If I'm the parent, how do I explain this? Um, this is intercourse time. This is when you decide to mix middle areas together. You you want to become a scientist to see if you can create something. You know, sometimes it just don't work. You know, you have to just toss it out. Um, and sometimes you'd be amazed at what you came up with. Even myself, I recently did. I'm always doing some scientific stuff. I love creating stuff. Um, I just do. That's what I'm naturally meant to do. And I do it all the time, daily, honestly. But um, in the intercourse aspect, when you want to create something, you have to mix middle areas. You mix whatever's between your legs and somebody else's legs. That, that sounds intriguing to say. Genital, gentle areas. I'm thinking of a way to explain it for myself, but I, I just be clearly honest with myself. My sonny boo, he knows what's between the legs, you know. So I point down there and I say that. I hardly say penis, but I guess maybe I should say penis. You want to put your penis inside a, a volcano. Should I say a volcano? I think we're going to move forward. I, I, I've done this explaining already, honestly. It's just, you mix middle areas together and you make and create something. Um, and you may not. But you definitely need to understand the foundations that you are mixing or energies. Because you may not like what you mixed. Or understand it when it actually get mixed. You may be like, what are these freaking side effects? Why are you doing that? You didn't know who you have mixed yourself with to create something. It's like cake mix. All those ingredients make a specific thing. But if you start adding extra stuff in there, there's just no telling what you're going to get. I hope that's a good example. I, I said that to my son the other day about something. What did he say? What were we talking about? Oh, he was saying that a... Uh, uh, an egg is a chicken. And I'm just like, no, it's not. It's like cake mix. <laughs> I said, no, it's not. It's like cake mix, you know. It it could be a chicken, but if you don't add all those ingredients, then it, it's not a cake. You only have one step before it get there. So, no, it, it is not a chicken. And I, I, I truly believe that. Um, that's why I still consume of eggs. I have been eating meat, but I'm probably going to stop again um i just consume of it when i need to but before i started eating it people were looking at me like you still eat me because you know that is considered a chicken you know that's me no it's not it didn't get to that process to let it happen think of it as an abortion or something no offense no it is what it is it, it, it didn't get those extra ingredients to become that so it's not that um But that's important to know who you are mixing with so you understand effects that's happening. Because things repeat. It's like, it's a mere aspect to a, an aspect that could happen from either side. But it's like, do you know what you have mixed? If you don't, then you're not going to understand your child. Or you may just love your child because you get to actually create the person that you actually want. Which a lot of people do that sometimes. They 
live their life through their child or they love their child because hmm, how can I explain that? I'm just gonna say the way I'm thinking it and feeling it. It's the aspect that has into they love their child because they get to create what they want. It's not that they're trying to create themselves, they create in what they would like to have, if that makes sense. But that's not a bad thing. It's just It can't, it's not a bad thing. Yeah, I feel it's a just, but I'm gonna have to get back to that. Uh, obstacles, obstacles are coming, but they're gonna come together. I already came out. You have obstacles, lots of them, and it's dealing with your spouse. Your spouse, y'all come with a lot. She comes with a lot of obstacles. Okay, there's a lot of obstacles when it comes to your foundation. That's probably why you didn't even want it, but the universe gave it to you. But you, you feeling like it's something like you already been with. Safe in the light. You're headed somewhere. Yeah, I feel like you're headed to your spouse and they're headed to you. Because that did come out, but y'all face to face. But y'all already together energetically. Shadows, y'all shadows are already together. Because you, you have the devil energy. The devil energy came out, which is in the dark. This is the shadows. The shadows look over. Do you see your shadow? No. It's, it's probably with your spouse or it's somewhere else, you know. Because sometimes people think your spouse always have to be with you. That's crazy. That's crazy. I, I used to be one of those people for the most part. Um, we just always want to be under your spouse. It's, it's not good. Yo, like, get out sometime. It's not good to always be around your spouse. It's just not. Um, for a healthy relationship, you, you need a balance where y'all have y'all own time or whatever. Um, I just felt the music because that's important. Because I happen to say that, you know, maybe they with you already. They might be somewhere freaking else, but don't get offended. <laughs> they handling business. They can get way more done than you because... They a shadow. They can go meet everybody real quick. Like, my physical body right here been talking to y'all for, like, an hour or whatever. But my shadow been all around, you know? About to bring, about to bring it right back to me like a chirper. Which, that is a chirper. Like, it came out. Where is that freaking at? Where did I go put the card up? Yeah. You're communicating with a chirper. Chirpers be all over the doggone place, and then they come down. And that's the aspect of it. <laughs> that's the energy of That's funny. I have to laugh, because lately I've been saying the chirpers are they're chirping again. They're letting you know what time it is. And y'all have that in both forms of a way. Physically, but y'all not together physically. But y'all going to come together eventually. But right now, y'all over here in this energy. In the dark shadow aspect. Let's pull it from the magic deck, then I'm going to wrap it up. What we get from the traveler deck? We got, hello God, windows of my heart. You are special, safe and alight. Safe and alive. It had the top of it coming. Someone told me to come look at the top of this deck and the bottom material really quick before I move over. Before I leave these ones out and go to the other one. Stop, wait, and go. Safe and alive. Stop, wait, and go. Yeah, there's a stop, wait, and that's kind of intriguing with me even looking at that because recently, last time I did my translation, I got a flat tire, which put put a stop to activity that I was doing. And wait, I gotta wait and then go. It's that same energy. Something the eternal aspect is putting the stop to something. It wants you to wait and then you gotta go. Things gotta get fixed or something of that nature. That's kind of intriguing. Cause that's just what I feel the energy of. Cause that really just recently happened to me where it was a stop and now I gotta wait. Oh, my material part of me. 
waiting. Your spouse is waiting on you. That's the wait aspect. Is this you waiting or they're waiting? They got the two on there too. I don't know if you're waiting on them or they're waiting on you. They got the world. Which is really good because that's your foundation. That's how you manifest. That's this freaking success part. Either you're waiting on them or they're waiting on you. But I said they're waiting on you so I feel it's them. It's them. I'm not sure but. Now, now I won't look for another card. The ending. And uh, that's a crossway. That's their foundation. And then up under there is seekers. People need answers, which is not surprising because there's a lot of energy out today. And it is the holy day, it's Sunday. It is Sunday, right? Is it Sunday or Saturday? I said it's a Saturday or Sunday, it's always holy day. No, it's our day. I said, you you don't know what our day is, honey. You have to go look it up. Look, man, days fly in next to me. Uh, as far as I know, we already knocked this week out. I'm saying if we didn't, it's Saturday to me. <laughs> but it's, we're, it's, it's Sunday, okay? It's our day. It's holy day. Um, which is every day. But somehow we get recognized when we're supposed to be resting, which to me that goes with death. And that actually came out at the bottom of the deck. And also, um, the tower came out, which is a fallen aspect. Um, what was that up under? Yeah, the death card came out at a crossway. Um, but yeah, we normally get recognized in that aspect. Um, when we're supposed to be resting, and sometimes to me, resting is dead. You know, people recognize you when you die. You know, all of a sudden, they... Oh my God, I remember this and that, and I really love them, and I went to school with them, and I remember when they said this and that, but when your physical body was there, you couldn't find nobody. Who? You know, it was one of those aspects, you know, but yeah, they, they recognize us on Holy Day, Sunday, rest, die. Kai, 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 die. We get to go, that's exactly what it is, too. You created something, and then actually get to look back at things created. That's when people recognize you when you rest. Then they go back and look at everything that you have done and appreciate it then. But while you're doing it, they don't recognize it. How intriguing, huh? On an adventure. You're going on an adventure? An adventure is because you're about to be on an adventure. Probably because you're joining something here. You're going to be getting a cup. You're getting the foundation. It's going to be something new to learn. You're about to have some new lessons come to you that you already experienced, but you can do better in. And enjoy. Uh oh. You're looking back at something. That's batch too. That's not good. That's not, that's not good. You're running from something, but you're, you're looking back. You're running and you're looking back at something. It's like this is running from truth. You're trying to run from truth, but it, it's coming towards you. You're, you're looking back at the truth, but you're not listening to it. You, you're, you're trying to run from it, but the truth is coming at you so hard. You, you just, you're not gonna be able to escape. It's the bats. It's in the dark. Bats can't come out during the daytime, and then the image is this light above the bats. 
which is interesting because you think of bats at night time. But there's a, it's like a beam of light that's coming behind the bats. That's you. That's the truth. It's headed towards you. But you're running from it, but you're looking back at it. You're trying to run from some type of truth. You're not going to be able to run for too long. It's kind of seeming like um, the sun card that just came out. This could be past energy. It's coming back. I spoke of that too. It's from your past that you have to fix to be able to move forward. These are star energies too. Amongst others like you. It's a flag aspect. I'm feeling they'd say throw in the flag. There's a flag up here on a pole and it's, there's no light on it. Around it is lights. But with this pole and flag at there's no light. And it's the energy of throwing the flag. You gotta give something up. You don't want to give something up. this energy and this is each other run each you, you, you can't run from this dog on truth there's some type of truth just coming to you. You, you you're running from it but you're not gonna be able to run that that was coming deep in this a beam of light behind it what is that light I'm not freaking sure but I feel like it's going with this Sun card And the sun card was going with the Queen of Pentacles, which makes you stand out. Where you have a balance aperture given somewhere else. Um, this is two energies. That's intriguing. Return up to two triggers. Create cards from your graveyard to your hand. Return up. Return up to trigger. Create great. I mean, pardon me. What the hell? I did not say great. Create cards from your graveyard to your hand. This is seeming like this this is a chance to manifest. Even how I just translated this energy and somebody else already understood this and they created these cards from the eternal aspect. You have to do it again. Maybe time to make my own little cards. That's just what that freaking said. From your graveyard to your hand. What? I said, what? The? You may put two one plus one c counters on the creator you control, then all creators get negative four, negative four until end of return. I have no clue what that means. That may be the adventure. Yeah, I don't understand this one. I understand. My new foundation will be intriguing. I don't understand this one. <laughs> like I'm learning within a moment too, you guys. 
That's intriguing. It's not the same. It seems the freaking same. It's not the same. That's so intriguing. And it's gonna be a taking away of something until the end of return. Which is gonna be a super intriguing because it may it may not seem right. Like how am I losing things? You may think your partner freaking bad luck. To the end of return. It's kind of going with this whole energy a little bit, kind of, sort of. I feel like I'm thinking too much. I ain't. Something I put on my phone. I think it is on my phone right now. As into think less, think more. As into y'all not together right now. This is your shadows doing the work for you. Which may seem like a loss because y'all physical bodies ain't together. But the eternal side, your ancestors, are doing things for you. They're getting the work done. And I said it because when y'all return, it says until the end of return. I'm gonna pull another card for that. This is this is new. This is your this is your new foundation. There's going to be losses on both sides. It's beneficial, though. It's just, you know, I understand even how I don't understand this, honestly. There's one aspect I got already. This other one, I, I don't know it. <laughs> how do you do tarot? Because this is people always, even myself sometimes, my son, he gets me all the time too sometimes. Because he expects me just to know things. Like, when I'm able to do this and, you know, I receive energy quickly and all that aspect. It's just like, how you don't know this then? You're supposed to know everything. I'm still learning too. I am a human also. I'm still learning. Yeah, I've hit my bone. That's intriguing, but seriously, I'm still learning. Like you can tell right now, I'm, I'm still learning. But when you have the eternal side as your homies, you know, it makes it much easier. <laughs> you know, and I say the eternal side, just your loved ones, they, they're, they're still there. Their afterlife is life. It's just when this physical part stop, there's. There's something still there. It's still going. It didn't say the end of life. It says the eternal. Or, you know, the afterlife. It's still going. Look at that light again. That's the adventure. I, I can't even figure this one out at the moment. It's coming off as an adventure, which was the first card that came out. You you have to learn. You don't know this lesson yet. How intriguing. That's a nice little catcher right there. I must say. Um, so I think we all done with that. This is the same energy. It's, it's, no, that's the forest. This is the swamp. It seems like that's the light, though. They both base lens. Yeah, you gonna y'all got learning together, you have to learn together. That's so nice. A lot of times you I wanna say a friendship, but you get with somebody you already dated in them, which hopefully is a friendship. Um I'm gonna use my ass already together, you know. You in a relationship are you married to somebody. You don't think y'all supposed to learn from each other. You think y'all already supposed to know everything about each other. Like, they ain't supposed to teach you nothing. Y'all gonna learn together. That That's that aspect. It, it's kind of funny to me because before I had a son, I was one of those people who thought guys knew everything. That's probably why I had such a hard time with my ex. Like, he, like, God, did, 
I was like, God damn, you don't know nothing. For the, for the most part, well, for what I did, I thought that a guy just knew everything. That's like a mind reader. It's just, they don't know it. They never experienced it. Just like me. If I experienced it, how do I know it? It's that same aspect. And it's funny, it took me to have a child to realize that. Because, like, I have a son. How he know things if he don't experience it? <laughs> same way other guys. If they weren't exposed to it or taught it, how they know it? You got the eternal aspect, but that's the side that I follow. Um, which is the father to the fatherless and the mother to the motherless. There's ones who can follow that, whether they have, you know, actual physical parents, but sometimes guys, they don't listen to it, they don't follow it, they don't think that it's for them, or they don't think that, um, hmm, they're good enough for it, I don't know, it, maybe it's one of those aspects, I'm not sure, honestly, and I say that because... In the book that I've been reading, Alton Norman's, it's been saying in prayer to say that. You know that you're unworthy of it, but you need the guidance. You want it, you know. And for me, I did. I had to second guess sometime a little bit because I was like, I know I am worthy of it. But it's like, are you really? Have you never did nothing wrong and wanted forgiveness, you know? So I did say it. Um... I said, but I know that I'm worthy of it. <laughs> I give myself a chuckle, but seriously, on a serious note, it's that aspect where they will miss it because they don't think it's for them. The guidance that's already there. Um, and it can actually be your parents on the other all, the other side. You know, the father to the fatherless and the mother to the less. the father to the fatherless and the mother to the motherless it could actually be your parents on that other side giving you guidance or your grandparents or you know or your sister or your cousin that they're guiding you in that form of a way but you may be missing it because you don't believe it or you don't think you're worthy of getting that type of guidance but it's there and it's available because they're there In a guide. Like, would you well, want a parent to guide you? Like, it's hard to say what is a parent, honestly, because it's intriguing. My experience of it, it's hard to speak on it, but I feel like I'm a good parent because I'm able to know things that people don't expect me to know about my child, uh, which for me, it makes me a good parent. Um, and I, I feel like I'm, a, I'm supposed to be a cheerleader. Like, I, I give guidance when needed, but my, I feel like my job is just to cheer, you know, like, encourage to keep going, um, not always to enforce the rules, but mine's, as I say, it's gotten messed up a little bit, it's been around energies, and it's, it's not the same aspect no more, it's not bad, you know, it's never bad, always can be fixed and navigated a certain way. But the way that I know my foundation is supposed to be, it's not chuggling the way it's supposed to be. But I get to start over, you know. First child, my bad. <laughs> not being funny, being serious, you know. You live and you learn, you know. Lessons. And that's just that. Um... What the heck was I just saying? Let's talk about foundations. I've been going for a long time. Uh, the wrap it up. When I start forgetting, I definitely know it's, it's too much going on. Um, that's where I'm going. I normally don't let my translations get this long. Because my brain started hurting. And I feel like that's what's happening. Um, I feel like that's what's happening. My brain starting to hurt. Um... Speaking of my child and energies, have to start over. 
and I'm just going to leave it there. And we'll be at the bottom of this deck. That's sustaining our energy, too. This is like a cemetery. This is. The eternal aspect is lightening up. Was that the energy, too? Yes, it was. They will get the job done, yo. I tell you no freaking lie. Like, that's a freaking amazing. It's like the dead will walk. Like, you're not understanding what I'm saying. Because it's like, they're not even walking. They can levitate in everything. They can even ride inside of your physical form. Okay? And you might be in the Bentley. Okay? So. <sighs> That's freaking amazing. Because I was going with these lights. All these lights right here. Or all the eternal aspect. But somebody's not lit up. And they got to throw the flag in. But the eternal aspect, they're they all right there. And this confirmed it for me. Like, it's a cemetery. They're out there and they lit up. It's like coming back from the dead. But they were never dead. It's just letting you know, like, oh, this, that, that's where you thought I was left off at. Mm -mm, I'm right over here. It's the eternal aspect lighting up. When I said lighting up, they're making their presence more known. Which I spoke of that already when I first started the translation as to shadows are communicating a lot. You may see a physical form, but that's not the person you're talking to, trust me. I'm not saying to everybody, you know. It's not to have you paranoid, but to an extent pay more attention. Um But for certain aspects, yeah. You're not talking to who you think you're talking to. You're talking to the shadow. Or you might need to watch a person that's talking to you. They may not be talking to you. They're talking to the shadow. And that's the eternal aspect. They're, they're talking to the eternal aspect. They are recognizing the eternal aspect in the physical form. I think that was a good way to wrap it up, honestly, because that just made me excited, because that's just what it freaking is. It's like the way I started, the way I'm about to finish it, that's the will of fortune. But on a better note, this is a better note. This is really good guidance. This is a time you definitely want that mother-like child, childlike faith in, because you, you have to be able to recognize it. Some people will say you're crazy, you know. <sighs> How can I explain that? It's not a bad thing. I feel like I'm supposed to be wrapping it up, but it, I think my mind keeps getting sparked to say different things. Because this is reminding me of energy as into... This is the physical understanding, you know, not the eternal aspect, but it kind of goes with it metaphorically. How females sometimes... Um, they normally want somebody like their father. So they get to go seeking partners that remind them energetically, maybe physically too. They might physically, because even myself, I realize I have a tendency to date guys that look the same. So that's a physical aspect. Where I get that from, I don't freaking honestly know. I don't know that this is something I naturally like or where it came from. But with me saying that, I had to go back and reference to that since I did talk about it. But, um, I don't know. I think I can just talk about that. It's the mixture aspect, I believe. Because I thought about it before a little bit. They have both sides. They have uh, two different mixtures to them. And people who know me or have met me, I wouldn't even know me. They just met me. First thing they ask me as soon as I talk is, where am I from? They don't recognize the pitch of my sound or sometimes my skin color they want to know where i'm from they think i'm from like an island or something because the way i speak they know i'm not from anywhere around here and it's just like no that's true but where i'm gonna tell you i'm from which is warren that's where i was raised at but i was born in maryland i don't sound like nobody from where I was raised, I can't really say Maryland because I don't know too many people there. I just was born there, so maybe I do, but I know personally. I don't sound like nobody you know. 
I'm not meant to. It's the way I stand out. Where it's recognizable to, oh, yeah, that was, that was Brittany, or I might have told you I was ginger because I'm good for you. I'm a little spicy, but overall, my benefits, the way I'm able to mix, is beneficial, okay? But, um, I have, I go by a lot of things right now. Where I'm going to post this at, I have, um, my story blends because it, it blends. Um, even how I just sat there and said about the people I date or, you know, how I use the physical realm in the eternal realm or, you know, just those aspects. Um, and I have Skulls Welcome. I'm, I'm working on Skulls Welcome right now. I kind of want to start a new one, but I'm going to leave it there because I feel like I'm moving too quickly. But I feel like I'm kind of done with that and want to move on to something else, but I'm not exactly sure. I've been craving to do something totally new. It's like, I feel like I'm repeating a little cycle, but it's a little different. Um, so, yeah. Happy to know that energy actually came out to an adventure is coming, something new. But, um... They either ask me that, but people normally tell me I talk like a white person. They always reference me to a white person. I have no clue why, honestly, because... I don't think that's true. <laughs> I say I'm a foreigner. I, I identify as a foreigner because people don't understand foreigners. They don't understand them. It's something different. But I have realized my best friend when I was younger was a white girl. Honestly. Um, nothing to my behavior. So you can't even reference me back to anybody because she, she was a handful she was what you would have thought I would have been you know like a, a black girl um it's kind of hard to say like what is a black girl oh she liked the black boys I tell you that she liked the black boys and normally the bl white girls that like black boys they are handfuls <laughs> No shade, but in an understanding, yeah. Um, I it's harder for me to speak on that a little bit, um, cause maybe they they recognize something in myself that I try to deny or suppress. Cause I have said before in my other life, I had to be a white person, a white guy. <laughs> just because of just ways I get treated and dealt with like wisdom that I know but the way I get treated here is it, intriguing because it is physical form it, it's intriguing to me personally so maybe it's something that they recognize me that I'm not seeing that I come off like a white woman and for me when I think of a white woman I think of a housewife. I, I think of one that I go back to slavery time where husband do whatever the heck he want, wife just in there taking care of the kids. Well, she ain't taking care of the kids because she got a servant or something to do that. Um, yeah. Shopping or something. I don't know. I, I think I'm going to watch a slavery movie today because it has to go back in that form of a way when it comes to me. And I understand. I feel like I'm getting real personal on here. But I'm sure it'll benefit somebody. Um, yeah, that's what I just think of. The, the husband doing whatever the heck he want. Which normally the husband is white. When you go back to slavery movies and it's a white woman. She, you know, she normally ain't married to nobody of color. She may be trying to sneak off with a little black boy or something. But she... She got a white husband. He do whatever the heck he want. And she just be in the house. Take care of herself. Or shopping, gossiping or something. But I don't know. I'm going to watch a movie. Myself personally, if it's an up-to-date one, I'm in there with the family. I'm taking care of the kids. I don't need a, a servant or a maid. I clean my own dog on the house. That's just weird.
for me personally, it, it just is. Like, if we got money like that, no, well, no, that's weird. I got all day I clean my own home. That's how spouses start cheating with the dog on servant, you know. That's why a lot of insecurities even start happening within the wife, because she know it. Because you allow somebody to do what you're supposed to be doing. But I feel like I'm trapping a little bit too much now, so I'm going to wrap it up. Remember, guys, be kind. You are a reflection.